Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create an intro for your YouTube videos. Let's say you have a YouTube channel. Now instead of directly publishing your videos with a normal intro, you want to create an intro for your channel like this one, which will showcase your company and looks very professional and attractive. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to create an intro for your videos like this. We are going to do this using ready-made templates. So you will have different templates to choose from and create your own intro. It's going to be very quick and easy. Okay, now adding an intro to your videos will make your video look more professional and also make you stand out from your competitors. So this will help you get more views and watch time for your videos. Okay, now let's get started. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's create our intro. So to create our intro, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to choose a template for your intro. Now to create your intro, first we are going to choose a ready-made template and then edit it. So to choose the template, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website. Now this is the site which is going to help us create our intro. Now if you see here, we have a lot of ready-made templates for our intro. Now if you go to any template, you can see a preview of how it looks. You can choose any template from here. Just go to the template, just select it and you can see we have got the template. Now if you click here, you can see the intro. Okay, so once you've chosen the template, we can now go to the second step which is to edit the template and add our own content. Now to create our intro, we need to edit this template and add our content. So first, let's see how you can add a text in your intro. To add your text, all you have to do is just click here and then delete this default text. Now enter the text you want. I'm going to enter Website Learners Native. Once you've done that, here you can see the preview of how your text will look. Okay, next, let's say you want to add a logo to your intro. So to add the logo, just click Upload Image and then select your logo from your computer and click open. Now here you can crop your logo to any size you want. Once you're done, just click crop. And you can see that our logo has been added here. Okay, now let's see a preview of our intro. Just scroll down and click play all. Now if you click here, you can see that this is how our intro looks. Okay, so once you've added your logo, next let's see how you can change the background music of your intro. Right now, we have a default music in our intro. So to change it, let's close this and then click this icon. Now here you can see a list of music which you can add to your intro. You can listen to the music by clicking the play icon and select the music you like. Now you can also select any category here and then select the music. Now if you like this one, to select it, just click select and the music will be added to your intro. To see that, just click play all and then click play. As you can see, we've now got our intro with the music and the content we added. Okay, so now our intro is ready. Once you've edited the intro, we can now go to the final step which is to save your intro. Now to save this, just click download and it will ask you to select a plan. I am going to select the free option here. As soon as you click it, you can see that our intro has been downloaded to our computer. And if you open it, you can see we have successfully got our intro. Ok, now you know how you can create an intro for your YouTube videos. Now if you see here, there is a watermark of the website 
from where we created our intro. Now, if you want to remove this watermark, you need to get a subscription in this website. So let's close this. Now, if you click pricing, here you can see the subscription plans. You can select the one you want. Once you subscribe, you will be able to download your intro without a watermark. And also, you can get more intros with better video quality. Okay, so this is how you can create an intro. Next, we are going to see another method to create an intro, which is by using an editing software called DaVinci Resolve on our computer. Now with this software, we can get more customization options to edit our intro. For example, we'll have more design options like font styles, font color, size, etc. And also, instead of choosing from a default set of music, you can add your own music to your video. So this will help us create a more personalized intro for our videos. Now in this method, we are going to do 5 steps. The first step is to install the DaVinci Resolve software on our computer. So to install it, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website. Now to install DaVinci Resolve, click free download and here select your OS. As I am using Windows, I am going to select this. Now fill up these details and click register and download. As soon as you click that, you can see that DaVinci Resolve is downloaded on your computer. Now to install it, let's open it. And you can see this is a zip file. So first let's extract it. Just right click and then click extract all. Now click extract and the file will be extracted. Once you've done that, now to install DaVinci Resolve, just open this and then click install. Now click next and then select this. Now click next twice and click install. As you can see, DaVinci Resolve is now being installed. And now we've successfully installed the software. So let's click finish and then OK. Now to see our software, open DaVinci Resolve here. As you can see, we've now successfully got the DaVinci software on our computer. So once you've installed DaVinci, we can now go to the second step, which is to get a template for your intro. Now like we did before, we are going to get ready-made templates for our intro and then edit it to create our own intro. So to get a template, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website. Now this website has premium templates which are high in quality. So to get the template, first here select the editing software which you are going to use to edit the intro. As I am going to use DaVinci, I am going to go there and then click openers. Now here you can see different templates for intros. You can select any template you want. So let's open a template. Now to see a preview, just click here and you can see how the intro looks. If you want to get this template, just close this and click buy now. Now fill up these details. Click create account and continue. Finally, if you fill up these card details, click pay securely and click the download button. You can see that our template has been downloaded here. So let's open it. Now it is in a zip file. To extract it, just right click, click extract all and again click extract. As you can see, we have successfully got our template file here. Okay, so once you've got the template, we can now go to the third step which is to import this template to DaVinci. So to import it, let's open DaVinci Resolve, now click file. 
and then click project manager. Now right click here and click restore project archive. And then open the template file which we just downloaded. Now select our template and click open. As you can see, we've got a template here. Let's open it. And it will be added here. Now this place is called the timeline in DaVinci. And this is where we can edit our intro. Okay. So once we've imported our template, we can now go to the next step, which is to edit the template. So to edit it, click here. Now first, let's see how you can add your logo to the intro. To add the logo, click images here. And as you can see, we have got the default logo for our template here. To change this, just select it. Now go here and then right click and select find in media pool. Now here you can see we have the default image. Now to change this to our logo, just right click on the image and click replace selected clip. Now select your logo from your computer and click open. Now the logo will be added to our intro. To check that, let's go to our intro. Just click here and select main render. Now if you click play here, you can see we've got a logo in the intro. So once you've added the logo, now here you can see we have a default tagline here. So next, let's see how you can add your own tagline. To add your tagline, go to text here. Then double click on this tagline. Now go here and double click. And here you'll get the options to add your tagline. To add it, just enter your text here. I'm going to enter Website Learners Native. Now if you want to change the font of your tagline, just click here and you can see a lot of fonts. You can select the font you want. I'm going to select this one. Next, if you want to change the font color, just click here and select the color you want and the color will be changed. Now click OK. Next, here you can set the size of your tagline. Just click and drag this number to control the size. Now you can use the rest of these options to customize your tagline. Okay, so once you're done, now to see how the tagline looks on our intro, just click here and select main render. Now if you click play here, you can see we now have our tagline in the intro. Okay, now once you've added the tagline, next let's see how you can add music to your intro. To add music, just right click here and then click import media. Now select the music file which you want to add to the intro and then click open. And you can see we've got the music here. Now to add this music to our intro, just drag it and come to the timeline and place it below the other tracks. Once you do that, the music will be added to our intro. To check that, if we click play, you can see we've got a music for our intro. Okay, so now our intro is ready. Once you're done editing the intro, we can now go to the final step, which is to save your intro. So to save it, click here. Now as we are going to add this to our YouTube videos, let's select YouTube here. 
Now here you can select the resolution you want for your intro and then select the location where you want to save it. I'm going to leave it in the desktop. So once you're done to save the intro, just click add to render queue. Then click render all. And the intro will be saved on your computer. To check that, if we go to our desktop, you can see that we've got our intro here. And if we open it, you can see we've successfully created our intro. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can create an intro for your YouTube videos. Now if you're ready to create your intro, you can click here and get the template you want and start creating your intro. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.